Last week was Mental Illness Awareness Week, and to celebrate, I scrolled through Instagram until I spiralled into a depression that I only snapped out of this morning. <laughs> I admit it was nice to see people supporting each other online. Even Hollywood got into the act by releasing a heartwarming tale about a misunderstood outcast who finally gets the help he needs and becomes an <laughs> advocate for mental health services. I, 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 have, I haven't seen the movie, but this poster speaks to me. <laughs> but America still has a serious mental health crisis. We have the second highest rate of depression in the world and other high-income countries aren't far behind. And I, I think it's because of dreams. <laughs> Having goals makes you sad, right? That's why wealthy countries are so depressed. People just trying to survive don't have the luxury of feeling bad because they'll never be a dancer. <laughs> They're too busy trying to cure their own hemorrhoids with a bag of wood chips. <laughs> As we know, seeing other people achieve their dreams only makes life more painful. Everybody else's life looks so much more glamorous on Instagram than yours. It's also so easy to see all the things that we're missing out on. We're all suffering from FOMO, which is fear of missing out. In Africa, they have a similar thing called MOFO, which stands for more food, which is what they're scared of missing out on. <laughs> a large part of mental health awareness is encouraging people to share their struggles, and, and I support that, but after a while, it becomes like a kind of depression porn. There, there are a lot of people out there with serious mental illnesses, but. It really doesn't help when a reality TV star posts a picture of themselves in bed with no makeup saying, I too struggle with depression. <laughs> and then everyone starts commenting underneath, you're so brave, you're beautiful, heart emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> just stop it! <laughs> Are we all really clinically depressed or is this just how we're meant to feel because life f***ing sucks? <laughs> life sucks! <laughs> Fucking sucks. <laughs> Keep the fucking dog. <laughs> no, fuck you. I gave you the house. It's my fucking dog. <laughs> Have you ever met someone who is legitimately happy? They're always dumb as shit. <laughs> so they don't know better. You ever, you ever see a happy professor? No! You haven't! Because they're smart! <laughs> Einstein understood the universe better than anyone. And what did he do? Help invent the atomic bomb! <laughs> We're all so miserable that even doctors have a hard time telling the difference between real illness and generally experiencing life. One study showed that less than 40% of people diagnosed with depression actually met the criteria. Doctors say the other 60% aren't depressed, they're just dumpy, unfuckable losers. <laughs> It's one thing to be aware of mental illness, but it's another to make sure people are getting treatment. 10 million adults report an unmet need for mental health care. So what if you need help, but you don't have the means to get it? I suggest you try to get yourself arrested in Cook County. We're here at Cook County Jail in Chicago. Right now, it houses 9,000 inmates, and it's estimated that 30% of them have mental illnesses. That makes this what's thought to be the largest mental health care provider in America right now. That's right, America's largest mental health care provider is a jail. Instead of looking down on murderers, we should commend them for getting help. <laughs> it's good that we're able to talk openly about mental illness, but we need more than a hashtag. We need better funding, better access to resources, more focus on community services, including therapy and addiction treatment, and better crisis services beyond just jails and hospitals. Because the truth is, we don't really like helping people with mental illness. It's scary and difficult and it makes us uncomfortable, even if it's someone we love. If you need help, all too often, you're on your own. So you may have to help yourself. But how? Get arrested! <laughs> I'm not saying you have to kill someone, but a minor crime that gives the nice people who run the jail a reason to put you in treatment. Uh, hold up a convenience store after it's closed. <laughs> Sell cocaine to a pigeon. <laughs> Commit bank fraud by telling everyone that you're a bank. <laughs> then again, maybe, I don't know, just maybe we could take 1% of the country's military budget and put it towards improving 
mental health care in America. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Or is that idea just too crazy? Ooh. 